Welcome to Season Pass. I'm your host, Ryan Campo, for Week 5 of the high school football season, plus a recap of the weekend that was for San, or excuse me, Angelo State. The Little Southwest Conference is the first to begin district play in the Concho Valley. The Bobcats hosted homecoming in the district opener against the Friendship Tigers on Friday night. Homecoming for the Cats, the Angry Orange faithful out in full support on Friday. First central possession, Bobcats on the 25-yard line. Tyler Hill rolls to his right, finds a wide open. Jaden Gibson, Cats up 7-0 just like that. This one was a track meet in the first half. Now in the second quarter, Hill takes the snap, follows his blockers in for the central touchdown. Bobcats up 14-7. Friendship's quarterback, Chad Ferries, had himself a night to remember. Here the play action keeper, big hole. Evens the game back up at 14. More from him later. Still in the second quarter, Bobcats add another touchdown. This time, that's Sam Navarrete. Central leads 2014 after a failed two point conversion. We mentioned Ferries earlier. Here, another quarterback keeper bounces it outside, outrunning the Central defense. 40 yards to the touchdown. Friendship takes a 21 20 lead. Then, before half, Ferries on the QB draw. Plenty of running room. Breaks a tackle, making guys miss. Touchdown. Friendship led 28 20 at halftime. They go on to win it 49 32. Lakeview got their first win of the season on Friday over the Brownfield Cubs, 35 to nothing. TLCA hosting Stanton on Friday night out at Lakeview Stadium. Second quarter, Stanton marching down the field. Ryan Andler coughs up the ball. It's recovered by Ivan Ovedo. TCL, TLCA trails 7 6. Though going into the halftime. Third quarter, Buffaloes finally get things rolling. Miguel Mornero powers his way through traffic in for the Stanton touchdown. 14 6 Buffaloes. Later in the quarter, Stanton starting to gain some momentum. Some trickery fakes out the cameraman. That's okay. We pick up where we left off. That one goes in for six. Stanton up 20 to 6 at that point. Go on to pull away for good. Finals 46 13. Stanton gets the victory. Eagles taking on the early Longhorns. Longhorns up 7 0 in the first quarter. Early looking for another. Jackson Price finds, frankly, Villar, Villarar takes it into the Longhorns up 14 0 at that point. Then the Eagles offense trying to get something going. QB Landon Crow heaves it downfield. It's picked off by early Dalton Dillon. From there, the Longhorns offense really starts to take over. Then in the second quarter, Josiah Johnston finds his way into the end zone. Longhorns now up 20 to nothing at that point. Staying in the second, Johnston finds himself into the end zone yet again. Longhorns lead 27 0 at the half. Eagles would end up falling 49 to 0. Some 3A scores from Friday night early knocked off Grape Creek 49 0 in non district play. Coming up on Season Pass, we'll continue our high school football review. Stick around. We'll be right after we'll be right back after the break. Just outside of a town called Basic is Basic Lake. Where families gather together for some basic fun. And if you have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with five drive modes, you can climb above Basic and find a trail where no one else goes. 2021 Nissan Rogue. Anything but basic. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models or get a low 219 per month lease on Rogue. It's our way of life. It's a love of family, your land, and your history. It's how you treat people. It's deep-seated roots, a heritage that lives on in the way we work and play. We are West Texas. Angelo Pellets has been taking care of farmers, ranchers, and hunters since 1963. Give them a call and let them take care of you. Not getting the flexibility you want from other internet providers? Well, things have changed. Suddenlink introduces optimum flexibility. Now you can choose your internet speed and change it anytime. Like 100 meg internet for just $24.99 a month. Plus, there's no hidden fees, no annual contract, and no catch. It really is your internet, your way. 
And if you choose our faster speeds, you'll get HBO Max included on us. Plus a $200 Visa prepaid card. And free internet for one month with a free Wi-Fi extender for greater whole home coverage. If you're not totally satisfied, we'll give you your money back. As simple as that. But we're pretty sure you will be. Because what's not to like? It's 100 meg internet for just $24.99 a month. Isn't flexibility nice? Sign up for reliable high-speed internet with optimum flexibility at suddenlink.com today. Welcome back to Season Pass. It wasn't our Game of the Week on Friday, but in El Dorado, one of the oldest rivalries in West Texas football played out in their 99th year. I can barely count that high. Sonora met the 8th-ranked El Dorado Eagles, trying to make it two wins in a row against their rivals after last year's double overtime win. How would this year's meeting go? Homecoming for the Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. First quarter, Corbin Kovar-Rubias throws it deep for Coop and Mater. He walks into the end zone. Eagles on top, 6 0 at that point. Sonora would even it up. Hunter O'Banion takes the pitch and runs his way in. Sonora gets on the board, 7 6 at that point. Back and forth we go. Kovar Rubias finds Mater again. He escapes a tackle, runs it in for six up the sideline for his second touchdown of the game. However, Sonora would strike right back. Bruton throws it deep for Fernando Gonzalez. He trots in for another six, breaks a tackle there. The Broncos took the lead after the two-point conversion. El Dorado, however, wins it 48-26. Uh, we've, we've got great football players. Um, who we really do. We've got a, a really good quarterback, and Corbin's doing doing well. And and then uh, we've got you know our receivers, and Cooper and, and Santiago and uh, Caden and. Damian and Uncle Rubius. I mean, we're 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 progressing um, really well there. Um, you can't. It's hard to put in words how proud you are of these guys. They, especially in the second half, they just came out and uh, it was a close game, you know. And uh, we just, you know, they just take over, you know. <laughs> so it makes me look it makes me look like a better coach for sure. Battle of two Concho Valley teams out in Ozona. Lions hosting Brady. Let's pick it up in the fourth quarter. Lions in front here. Logan Fay takes it out to the left side. Left side, strong side. 28-7 at that point. Kick return by Caden Evans. Takes it all the way. Now you see him. Now you don't. Finds a seam up the middle. We speed it up for you. I wish he was that fast. That one's in for seven. Bulldogs have some life. Brady, though, two-point conversion good. This one makes it 28-14, but that's as close as the Bulldogs would get. That was the final, 28-14 on Friday night. Some 2A scores from around the area to look at from Friday. Mason all over Junction, 42-0 in that shutout victory. Cristoval, they picked up a win as well, 43-28. Miles and cross planes. This is a barn burner. The Buffaloes beat the Bulldogs 37 32 out Friday night. Coming up, season pass, even more high school football. Just when you think there's more, it's even more. Back on in the weekend. We'll be right back after the break. Oh. That spin class was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? It's uh, Buick Envision. That's a really tight spot. I used to hate parallel parking. Me too. The all-new Buick Envision. Built around you. All of you. Pay no interest on 2021 Buick Envision models. Or get $1,500 purchase cash on this Envision Avenue. Plus, current eligible Buick owners get an additional $500 allowance. Fansville is back, and everything has changed. College athletes can be in commercials now? Dr. Pepper, it's the one DJ deserves. Well, I want to be in a commercial. Will you make me the happiest fan alive? Coastal University? I thought we decided on state. No, that's what you decided. They don't even have football. The big day is finally upon us. Question is, will Jay and Natalie cross the goal line as one? The transfer portal. Wow. The legends are true. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. 
At Denver Mattress, we believe a little tranquility goes a long way. So add a little tranquility into your sleep with the Colorado Mattress. Packed with over 500 individually wrapped coils and made in the USA at our very own Denver Mattress Factory, the Colorado Mattress is the perfect combination of comfort and value. Visit your local Denver Mattress today and take one home for only $499.99. The Colorado Mattress only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. Since 1975, Concho Valley Door has been proud to provide professional and courteous service to homes and businesses all over West Texas. And we'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for letting us serve you for 40 years. A lot has changed during that time, and we strive to keep up with the newest in products and services available. Thank you for trusting us to make your homes and businesses more secure with our overhead doors, gates, and gate opening systems. For more information, you can visit our website at ConchoValleyDoor.com or come by and see us at 610 Art Street. Week five of the high school football season kicked off Thursday night with third ranked Sterling City facing eighth, eighth ranked Happy. The two met in Gale, a neutral site for a top 10 meeting. Sterling City looking to strike early. Jonathan Monreal finds a deep to Jace Clark. He trots in for the touchdown. Eagles on top first. Eagles looking to punch in another. Clark takes the disguised handoff right into the end zone. 14-0 Eagles lead. Eagles running the option. Kaz Johnson takes the pitch, takes the sideline, and gets into the end zone there for yet another touchdown. Eagles offense looked great on Thursday. Monreal can't find anyone, so he just takes off running himself, leaps into the end zone. Boy, got up. And the Eagles leap over the eighth-ranked Happy Cowboys with a 58-8 win. I mean, I was pleased. I think the, the pass coverage was a lot better tonight. I know we gave up a couple of long ones, but, you know, when we play, play aggressive like we do, we're going to do that every once in a while. But, uh, uh, you know, we did a much better job. I think uh, up front uh, we were more aggressive tonight. I think, you know, that's a, that's a great football team that runs right at you, and I think we did a good job being physical up front and taking that on. We preach one game at a time, and that's what we're going to focus on. And, and the biggest thing is, is getting better each week. Uh, from now till then, you know, uh, we got to get better every week, and, and that's what you got to do uh, to get uh, to where we want to be in the end. So, uh, you know, I think the last two weeks have been a step in the right direction, and, and it looks like we're uh, hopefully headed that way. Erion County Hornets hosting the Bront Longhorns. Hornets strike first. It's Bo Murrow. That's a football name. Wide open to catch the floater. As Erion County scores on an easy touchdown, Erion County still back on offense. Trayvon Koval takes off. He fumbles the ball as he was hit, but Jordan Harrison dives on it for another Hornets TD. Parker Posey's turn for the Hornets. He takes the handoff. He leaps over another Longhorn, takes it off to the end zone. Hornets running away in this one, but they weren't done yet. Jordan Harrison takes the handoff. He's not jumping over anyone. When he gets to the sideline, he's gone right past you. He's got a reservation for six. Erion County rolls over Bront, 53-6 the final. Zephyr pa hosting Paint Rock Indians on the board first. Sal Fuentes finds Eric Jefferson, the big man, catching touchdown passes. Look out, cameraman. Paint Rock not done, though. Jorge Garcia. Takes the handoff, shows the patience, finds a hole, and he's gone in the end zone to extend their lead. Zephyr would find the scoreboard. Zach Squires finds Ethan Byers, and the freshman takes it in for the score. Congrats to that young man. But Paint Rock would walk away with the win, 35-14 the final. Water Valley, fifth-ranked Wildcats, over Borden County, the Coyotes 62-22 Friday night. Morgan and Eden, lots of scoring in that one. The Bulldogs come on top 76-28. The Falcons pick up yet another one over the Panthers. That one 76-40. Lots of high scores in this one. The Yellowhammers, how about that name? Yellowhammers over Robert Lee 55-6. Another batch of local volleyball teams started district play on Tuesday. A few others still finishing up non-district. 
like this matchup. Lakeview, the maidens volleyball team, welcome in Sonora for a non-district match on Tuesday. First was a close, much like the whole match. Brandy Coward with the spike over the Lady Broncos. Lakeview up 17-11 at that point. Sonora, though, fought back. Molly Fries hammers home a kill. The Lady Broncos went on an 8-2 run. Match tied at 19. A bit later, Lakeview with the momentum. Emma Guevara swoops in for the kill. Maidens up 23-20. Again, Sonora would answer back. Cody Davis sends it over. A maiden for the point. Lady Browns down one. Here, Michaela Wagner gets the point for the maid, maidens off a of Lady Bronco. Lakeview in the lead. Set point now for the maidens on the attack. Lakeview takes the set 27 25. We'll go on to lose the match in five sets. Snor winning sets two, four, and five. All of districts three, six, three A started on Tuesday. The Wall Lady Hawks started on the road against Clyde. They won the second set to even the match at one, but the Lady Bulldogs won the next two to take the match three to one. TLCA went on the road against Grape Creek. It would be the visitors getting the win in the Battle of the Eagles. Straight sets, TLCA. Brady went on the road to face Jim Ned. The Lady Indians get the sweep 25-20, 25-16, and 25-15. Coming up on Season Pass, the NFL is back. Plus, we've got highlights of the Cowboys and Texans. Stick around. You're known for dry cleaning, but with a spotless connection, you could start selling clothes, too. It's why Suddenlink Business gives you reliable internet with built-in security for $84.95 a month. So you can do more business online while we keep your customers' info secure with a no-contract, no-risk guarantee. Plus, you'll get up to a $300 Visa prepaid card when you upgrade to a higher speed. Get a fresh connection with secure internet from Suddenlink Business. Call or visit SuddenLinkBusiness.com today. She said she wasn't hungry. She only wanted a bite. But this isn't just a patty melt. This is a Whataburger patty melt, the all-time favorite. With two all-beef patties, Monterey Jack, grilled onions, and creamy pepper sauce. So one bite became two, and two became mine. Just a bite, huh? Good thing she's your other all-time favorite. Good thing there's the patty melt at Whataburger. Service Master by Texas Best has been servicing San Angelo and the surrounding area for over 20 years. Check out Service Master Restoration and Cleaning by Texas Best on the Concho Valley homepage. Carrier asks, what does comfort mean to you? We know it means more than just the temperature. And the people who invented modern air conditioning keep inventing new ways to make you comfortable. Carrier, turn to the experts. Are you prepared for whatever winter brings to West Texas? Let Absolute Paradise keep your system running at peak efficiency. Call Absolute Paradise, your Concho Valley heating and cooling experts, and ask about the savings our Paradise package can bring you. The locker room is back on ConchoValleyHomePage.com with high school football scores, highlights, and top stories available right from your computer or phone. The locker room on ConchoValleyHomePage.com. Log on and get in the game today. The Angelo State football team overcame adversity on the road, climbing back late against Central Washington to defeat the Wildcats 14-9 with a last-minute touchdown on Saturday night in Tomlinson Stadium. With the win, the Rams improved to 3-1 overall in the season, while Central Washington drops to 2-2. Two two. Down late, they got a score with under a minute left, put it, pushing them through, take the lead with 48 seconds left in the ballgame. Rams will return home next weekend as they welcome in Western New Mexico for a Lone Star Conference matchup Saturday, October 2nd at LeGrand Stadium at First Community Credit Union Field. On Wednesday, the 12th ranked Angelo State Bells suffered their first loss of the season and also their first loss in Lone Star Conference play to St. Mary's. Yesterday, they look to pick up win number one in LSC play. Conference home opener for the Bells hosting Eastern New Mexico. First half, Bells on the attack. 
That's freshman forward Grace Jordan with the attempt, but the Greyhounds keeper makes the save on that one. Still in the first, Jordan once again trying for goal. The Greyhounds keeper keep there to keep the game scoreless. To the second half, Valerie Solis with the penalty kick. She finds the back of the net. That's the lone goal of the game. The Bells get back in the win column with the one to nothing victory. The Bell volleyball team won up themselves from Friday night's four set victory over Midwestern State, winning Saturday's match versus Cameron on the road with a sweep. The Bells' eighth 3 0 victory of the season. Bells return to the court next weekend when they host Texas A&M Kingsville on Friday and Texas A&M International on Saturday. To college football, Big 12 opener for Texas and Texas Tech yesterday afternoon in the first. Casey Thompson finds B. John Johnson on a fourth down. He makes a spectacular move and he's gone into the end zone. Just like that, it's 7 0 Longhorns. In the second, defense turns into offense. Josh Thompson with the 27 yard pick six. And just like that, it's 28 7 Texas. Still in the te second, Thompson this time finds Xavier Worthy. For the 23 yard pitch and catch. And the route began at DKR. In the third, Thompson finds Jordan Whittington on the five yard jet streak for the Longhorns. The dagger, Thompson, who hooks up with Worthy again. Check out this play, makes multiple players miss. Made it 63 28. Texas with a statement win over in state rival Texas Tech, 70 35. Staying on the gridiron, TCU hosted. SMU yesterday afternoon. That's Zach Evans for the Horn Frogs. He takes the screen pass. He's gone from 46 yards in. 21-14 TCU at that point. Still in the same score. Reggie Roberson left wide open. He just dances his way into the end zone. Ties the game up at 21 apiece. Second half now. Rasheed Rice gets the old bubble screen. Goes in for the Mustangs to give them a seven-point lead. How about SMU as they get their first consecutive iron skillet win since 92-93, the 42-34 victory over TCU. And now to something that has never happened in my life and has happened something twice to an 11-year-old. We were shocked, of course. 11-year-old Jake Martinez competed this past weekend at the Palm Springs Open. It's a U.S. kids tournament. Just a few holes in and he hits a drive he'll never forget. On number five, it was a par three, 95 yards. I decided to hit a pitching wedge. It takes a couple hops and it just drops in the hole. Okay. Rick Martinez is Jake's dad. He served as Jake's caddy throughout the tournament, giving him a front row seat to the accomplishment. The first one he hit was a no-doubter, is what I call it. It was never off the pin. Jake's family was at the tournament but left before the back nine, thinking that they had seen all the excitement the day had to offer. That ended up being a big mistake once Jake reached hole 12. The second one he hit was pretty much a carbon copy, um, almost the same yardage. It was the same club and uh, followed the same path. A second hole in one. It's so rare the chances are one in 67 million, according to the National Hole in One Registry. First one, I was like happy about it, and the second one, I was just like, okay. Jake didn't win the tournament, but he, of course, still had a reason to celebrate, and it's safe to say he went big. Let's just say I had a lot of Shirley Temples. In Tucson, Bailey O'Carroll. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Or get over 3,200 purchase cash on this 2021 Sierra Light Duty Crew Cat Texas Edition. Plus, current eligible GMC owners get an additional 250 purchase allowance. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo. Hi, I'm Mike with MGB, Mike's Gold Buyers. Gold and silver prices are terrific, which means more money for your gold, silver, and diamonds. Come to MGB and you'll say, I sold gold and I like Mike. On Avenue in by Angelo State. Streamline your time online with the Concho Valley homepage app. Get your news and personalized weather faster and easier than ever before. And with live video and news alerts, you'll never miss a story. The Concho Valley homepage news app. Download it today. It's crazy to think we are already in week three of the NFL season. Teams are starting to separate themselves from one, e 
each other in the division. And on Thursday, the Texans kicked off the week schedule of games hosting Carolina at Reliance Stadium. In the first quarter, Sam Darnold gets the Panthers on the board early, a six yard touchdown run. 7 0 Panthers in the second quarter. If you're a fantasy owner, you have Christian McCaffrey. Look away. McCaffrey injures his hamstring. He would leave the game, would not return. He's out at least a couple weeks. Davis Mills, though, finds Anthony Miller for the two yard touchdown pass to get the Texans on the board just before halftime. 7 6, though, they trailed going into the break. Third quarter, Tommy Tremble. Seven yard pitch and catch. That made it 14 6 Carolina. And in the fourth, Sam Darnold, the icing on the cake, the one yard touchdown run, 24 9 Carolina. Less than 24 hours away from the Cowboys showdown on Monday night against the Eagles, Mickey Spagnola gives us the keys to a Dallas victory. Time for our Silver Star Nation keys to the Cowboys' Monday night game against the Philadelphia Eagles. The first key is keep those turnovers rolling in. The Cowboys' defense over these first two games has had trouble getting off the field. Now, the one way they've done it and stayed so close in all these games is the fact that they've been able to get takeaways. They have six of them. That leads the NFL. Last year, they didn't get their sixth turnover until the eighth game. Four of those six are interceptions. Last year, the fourth one came in the 11th games. Need to continue getting those takeaways. The second key is make it hurts, as in getting after Philadelphia quarterback Jalen Hurts. The Cowboys know they need to get pressure on opposing quarterbacks, especially now that they're down another defensive end for this game without uh, Dorrance Armstrong and Bradley Anai. So the Cowboys not only have to get pressure on Hurts, but they have to contain them in the pocket. And the third key is protect Dak. Give Dak time in the pocket, and he'll have no problems throwing the ball against this Eagles defense that likes to blitz. And those are your Silver Star Nations. I'm Mickey Spagnola here at the Star. Player of the week this week a for KLST in week five. It's a quarterback. It is last week it was El Dorado's Corbin Co Covar Rubiaz. This week it's Miles quarterback Haven Book. Book led the Bulldogs to their first win of the season over the Monday Mongols on homecoming. The sophomore went 21 for 25 through the air. Six touchdowns. He added 67 yards on six rushes. Bulldogs offense put up 55 points on the way to the win. Miles will face cross planes on the road next week, their last game before district play. Player of the Week is sponsored by Linda's Pond. And that pretty much wraps up this episode of Season Pass. You can check out all of our content on ConchoValleyHomepage.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at KLST Sports. Make sure to use the hashtag Season Pass to stay in the conversation. We'll see everyone next week. Good night, Contro Valley. Closed captioning for the hearing impaired is sponsored by the Law Office of Rick DeHoyas.